guys, welcome back. So got a little get ready with me for y'all today and it's on this look right here. So I really didn't know what look I was gonna be creating today when I sat down. I just brought a lot of options in here with me and this is what I ended up with. So it's kind of like a fallish sort of makeup look with a super dramatic wing, which wasn't really purposeful, but Sometimes things happen and sometimes you end up with a super dramatic wing. So we got a super dramatic wing, fallish sort of colors, and I used a bunch of new things that I've gotten recently. So a lot of stuff from Makeup Show and then some other random places as well. So yeah, this is the makeup look. If you want to get ready with me today, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've already applied some moisturizer. So now I'm going to use this Senna Moisture Drop Gel Primer infused with water and argan oil. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Feels really nice. It's like not that typical silicone y feeling. Don't mind this situation right here and this little situation that's been there forever. But it feels really good. It's it's not heavy feeling, it feels very light, so I like how that feels on my skin. Now I'm gonna use this Estee Lauder foundation. This is the Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup, and I have it in 2C3 Fresco. So I'm just gonna click up some of it onto the little dealy do and apply some of this on my face and then I'm gonna rub it in with my Beauty Junkies Flat Kabuki Brush. This has a really strange smell. I don't know what that is, but Dana was saying this at this show. Shit, it smells like a hospital. <laughs> and it really does. It's like medicinal or something, but not like herbally medicinal, but like gauze and I don't know. It's a strange scent. Now I'm gonna apply some eye primer. Today I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Oh, and I really do like that foundation. Like, I like the coverage of it. Um, they were saying pretty light, but I would say kind of light to medium. I mean, it didn't cover up whatever this is happening over here, but pretty good coverage. And they were saying it's kind of a radiant finish. I would say, um, I wouldn't say full on radiant, but I would say maybe more like satin to a little bit glowy but not full on glowy. I'm gonna fill in my brows using my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I wear it in blonde and I'm using my Sephora Brow Filler 100 brush. And I'm also gonna use this Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in number two. Okay, so I'm gonna use some of my Stilazi eyeshadows today. So I'm gonna get this one right here. I accidentally bought the same color twice somehow, but this is MB19. It is one of my favorites, really pretty. And I'm gonna use this Smith 230 brush and apply that right into my crease and transition area. I am really liking this brush. It's really like pointed, so it's really getting into my crease well, but then also it's fluffy enough to then blend up. I like this brush. Now I'm gonna take just a little bit of this shadow. This is MS39, I believe. Yeah, MS39. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that into my crease as well, just so it's not so, so warm. Just a little bit to balance it out. take this crease brush from Cosette. This is the D220. I'm going to get some of this shade right here. This is MS48 and I'm going to apply that 
into my outer corner and kind of blend that into my crease just a little bit, but mainly the outer corner. I really like this brush too. It's very soft feels nice and I like the shape of it. It's getting into that outer corner and crease, blending but not like blending shadow all over my face. So I like this too. And in my very outer corner, I'm gonna apply some of this brown shade. This is MS42 and I'm just using an, I was gonna say Eco Tools, an Eco Tools. No, it's Beauty 360, a Beauty 360 brush and just putting a little bit of that out there for some added dimension, but really just keeping it right there. take MS-17 and MS-24, a little combo of the two, for my brow bone highlight. These are really pigmented, so you want to tap them off. Now I'm going to use some of this pigment from Mustav. This is the Color Powder Moonlight, and this is in Champagne. So I'm going to get some of that on my brush, which I'm just using a small concealer brush from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to wet it with MAC Fix Plus and apply that to my lids. Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I like that a lot. You can go back in with your other brushes and do a little bit of blending if you feel like you need to, just to get everything kind of seamless. Then for my lower lash line, I'm going to use this Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner Trio, and this is for blue eyes. So I'm going to line my lower lash line, use some of the brown in my outer corner, and then a little bit of the pigment on my inner corner. For my upper lash line, I'm going to use this Crown Brush Ultra Skinny Eye Marker, and this is just in black. And I'm just going to line and do a little bit of a wing. Okay, I don't love this liner because it's one of those that doesn't have like a lot of give to it, so it kind of like drags across the eye, or at least that's what I experience with these kind of, um, I like these sort of like marker liners and they're actually some of my favorites, but I like them to have a little bit of give. So this one doesn't have enough give, so it kind of drags a little bit, and I found that it was kind of drying out a little bit when I was using it. Okay, this is real life, people. I went in with my Kat Von D liner to try to save the day, and I ended up with huge liner. <laughs> So, I'm bringing just a little bit of it down in the corners to kind of like try to connect it to make it look less weird. <laughs> I'm human, y'all. This is real life. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and then this Kevin Aquan The Expert Mascara. This is in Blood Roses. I'm going to use this on my upper lash line and this on my lower lash line. Under eyes, I'm going to use this Voodoo Makeup 10 Years Younger. So I had opened this up the other day and was looking at it, and then when I just opened it up just now, it was like already starting to dry up. So maybe I just didn't seal it well, or maybe it's like a packaging flaw? I don't really know. But that's definitely looking nice and brightening. Wow. Okay. Okay. Looks pretty. 
but I wouldn't like it drying up quickly if it's doing that. I really do like the look of that. It's very brightening for sure. Now I'm gonna use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I'm not showing you the packaging because it looks disgusting, but I'm just gonna apply that to my under eyes. I like to do this because I feel like it kind of like takes down those brightening concealers just a tad. Like I like a bright under eye, but I don't like it to be like crazy bright. You know what I mean? So I feel like this just kind of like brings it to a good level. And then I'm also going to put a little dab on my little friend here, cover that up. I'm going to set my under eyes in T-zone with my NARS. All Day Luminous Powder Foundation. I wear it in Mont Blanc, and I'm just using an e.l.f. small tapered brush for this. And I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation in Fair, and I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush for this. contour today I'm going to use this Mayron contour highlight pressed powder palette and I'm going to use this color right here with my Delium Tools 945 brush and just do a little bit of contouring and bronzing up on my face and a little bit on my neck too. I really like the texture of this powder. It's like I don't even know how to describe it. It's not just automatically sticking, but it's not that it's not pigmented either. So it's just that happy balance where you can just kind of build it up. I like this a lot. For blush today, I'm gonna to try to keep it pretty simple and I'm gonna use my Balm Desert Bronzer Blush from The Balm. And I'm gonna apply that with my Wet n Wild I don't know what this is called. It doesn't have a name on it, but angled something or other. And just, apply, oh, that, that's pretty pigmented. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Just apply that right on my cheeks and blend that back. Then for I'm going to use this palette from Fiona Styles. This is the Light Infusion Prism Palette. And I'm going to apply the middle shade right here using my Pro Highlighter from Beauty Junkies. I like this one because it's pretty and it is a beautiful highlight, but it's not like crazy over the top. For lips, I'm gonna use this combo right here, my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Tawny. And then my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, and this is in Plath. that wraps up this get ready with me so hope that you really enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you are grabbing for recently what are some of your things that you just find yourself loving right now i'd love to know that ask me any questions that you have i'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you in the next video bye